In this tutorial, I want to show you how we can generate some variables to use as labels uh, when measuring an area. So if we start off in the inspect area and go to area, we click on the region that we're interested in. If you um, want to add extra in, you can. Um, but in this case, we'll just look at the one area and you can see what measurement is giving at the moment. And um, once we accept that, it puts a um, hatching on here to show that there is an area related to that. So if we go to our variable table, we can see that all of those variables, including the um, centers um, and perimeter, are um, included as variables now. So we can expose those if we want to. We could go to the um, perimeter and also um, the area values and expose those and give them um, a name. So I'll just take out the variable portion and just put those in and then we can save them out. So if we now go to our um, labeling tool we can see that um, if we go to properties the um, perimeter and area have come through so I can pick up on the perimeter and put that in. So you can see that we've got the label here. So if we um, put a little bit more description and OK and change this text scale to something that's bigger. So we can see that we can actually put that on there. And then if we change the area, we can update that and it will follow through as well.